in this section, we're going to be looking at breakpoint and low level debugger. These are the two most powerful debugging tools available on Xcode. A low level debugger, which is known as the LLDB for short, is a command line interface that is available in Xcode. This allows you to get a deeper insight into what is going on with your code. You'll be able to do more debugging if you understand how to use the LLDB. The second tool that we're going to be looking at is the breakpoint, which allows you to pause your program at any point that you choose so that you can inspect your program a little more slowly. So if you want to pause your program at any point in time, you just have to add a breakpoint and you'll be able to see exactly what your program is doing at a particular point in time. So there are two ways to enable the LLDB. The first way is to actually crash your program. When your program crash, you will get the LLDB by default. So let me show you. So right now we have the fruit array. I'm going to print an index of the array that doesn't exist so that we can get a crash. And this is going to bring up the low level debugger command line interface. So let's print fruits array and then index of let's say 10. We know that we don't have index of 10. So if I should run the program, we're going to get a crash. And if you look in the debug area here, you can see where it says the LLDB. And if you click on that, you can see that we have something similar to a command line where we can type some code and get more information. Also, if you look at the bottom here, you can see that this particular area is red and it says hide the console. So you can hide the console if you want. And then when you hide the console, another view shows. And this one says hide the variable view. In fact, you can show both of them if you want. So now we have the LLDB and the variable view. So this is your console. This is particular area where the LLDB is showing. This is called the console. And this area is called the variable view. We're going to be looking at both in details. So this is the first way for you to bring up the low level debugger. So I'm going to stop the program now. And then I'm going to show you the second way. So let me delete this particular code. The second way to bring up the low level debugger is to use a breakpoint. Like I said previously, a breakpoint allows you to pause your program at a particular point. So if I want to pause my program on line 16, all you need to do is click on this area. Just click on the number 16 and you can see the red breakpoint added. When you add a breakpoint, it means that your program is going to pause its execution at this particular point. So let's run the program. And as you can see, even though we do not have anything to crash our application, we still have the low level debugger showing up and the variable view. These are the two ways for you to show your low level debugger. If you want to show the LLDB, simply add a breakpoint or whenever your application crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this breakpoint. If you want to disable a breakpoint, simply click on it to disable it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, undo the changes for the uh, print fruit array at 10. So let's run the program again. I want to show you exactly what you can do with the low level debugger. So let's run the program again. And now our program crash at this point and we have the LLDB. You can see at the top here is a thread. So we have a, this particular thread, thread one, that is where the crash happened. So if I want to get more information about the crash, you can just say thread and you can type info. These two commands is going to give you more information about what happened on the thread. So press the enter key and then you can see that it gives us the stop reason, which is the fatal error index out of range. So there are so many commands that you can run inside the LLDB. You can always use the thread info to get more information about what happened on that particular thread. So now it's telling us that it is an index out of range. And again, if you want to know all the commands that you can run on the LLDB, all you need to do is just type L and then press the enter key. And then you can see all of the things that you can do inside of the LLDB. We're going to be looking at some of these commands in this course. In this video, we introduced the low level debugger and breakpoints. 